So this video is going to be another video on how to use this reducing fractions flowchart. Um, the first video, which was a much smaller fraction, there wasn't a whole lot of reducing to do. However, you might notice this fraction, 36 over 48, or 36 48ths, these numbers are quite a lot larger. And I don't know about you guys, but one thing that I sometimes forget are my larger um, numbers that where um, fractions might have some things in common. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this flow chart to help myself reduce this fraction the easiest way I can think of. So the first thing I'm going to start right here at the beginning. And the first thing I'm going to say, ask myself is, can the numerator, which is boxed in blue, and the denominator be divided by two? So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. And 36 divided by 2, that equals 18. And 48 divided by 2 equals 24. So the answer would be, yes, they both can be divided by 2. And I did divide by 2. Now, I'm going to go back to this box right here. And I'm going to ask myself yet again, can the numerator which is now, I want to call your attention to it, 18 be divided by 2. And can the denominator, which is now 24, be divided by 2? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to do 18 divided by 2. And sorry guys, my I'm having a hard time making these little circles. I don't know what's going on. Okay. And 24 divided by 2. So I know that 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 24 divided by 2 is 12. So that they can both be divided by 2. So now I went back down here again, and now I'm going to ask myself, can 9, because I have to come, I have to keep coming back to this box until it doesn't work anymore. So can 9 be divided by 2? And can 12 be divided by 2? Oh, so when I try to divide nine by two, I do not get a whole number, so that does not work. When I divide six by two or twelve by two, I do get six. However, both numbers have to go into two in order for me to use that number. So that means no, two does not work. So because two does not work, I'm gonna go on to three. So can nine be divided by three and can 12 be divided by three? So I know that nine divided by three is equal to three. So that one does work. So now I'm gonna look at 12 divided by three. And I know that 12 divided by three is equal to four. So three does work. So I went down here and I found out yes they could and I divided by three. So now I'm back at the three box and I'm gonna try that again. So I'm gonna divide three by three and four by three. I'm gonna see if it works. 
So 3 divided by 3, that does equal 1, so that works. But 4 divided by 3, that does not go in evenly, so that does not work. Because they both do not go in evenly, I cannot use this one. And then I'm going to move on to 5. So 3 divided by 5, that does not work. 4 divided by 5, that does not work. So I am done with 5. Oops, I deleted too much. I'm going to move on to the next one. How about 7? So 3 divided by 7. So 3 divided by 7, that does not go in evenly, so that does not work. And 4 divided by 7, that does not work either, because it does not go in evenly. So that lets me know that I am done with 7. And last, I'm going to try 11. 3 cannot be divided evenly by 11. And 4 cannot be divided evenly by 11 either. So that means I am done with that one. And then I go down to the You're Done box. So this lets me know that my final answer is going to be 3 over 4. And this just basically means that I was able to reduce or simplify 36 48ths to 3 over 4.